Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. So I feel like in regards to um, my makes lately, it has been either a month full of making stuff or a month of making nothing. And as I started to pull out all the things that I made this month, I realized that this is a month where I made a ton of stuff. So I'm excited to show you everything. I will say most of these things have already been reviewed on the channel. Some of them, the reviews are coming in the next couple weeks, but if it has already been reviewed, then I am going to put a little thingamajig, it's like a little eye with a circle around it, if you click that, then it'll take you directly to the video with the full length review where you can get all the pros and cons of the pattern and learn more about the fabric and see more close ups of it and all of that kind of stuff. So if you want more information about any of these, not any of them, about most of the things I'm going to review, keep your eye on the top right hand corner. I guess it's over here. <laughs> the top right hand corner of your screen and little info boxes will pop up throughout the video where you can um, find the link to that review video. I hope that makes sense. Okay, but I'm going to jump right in because I have a lot to cover. I think I might try and go chronologically. That might be the easiest for me. Um, the very first thing I made this month was for Stylemaker Fabrics uh, Fall Style Tour, and I ended up hacking a pattern. So I took McCall 7660 and flipped the v-neck to the back lowered the V and then added some eyelets to create a little lace up. Um, a lot of you guys requested a tutorial on this and that is something that I am working on. Um, so stay tuned for that. But I ended up pairing that with the Style Arc Sally jean skirt and I really love it. I think this is a super cute fall outfit for the south because it's like a light sweater knit with an open back so it's kind of breezy back there you know what I'm saying and then it's a cute skirt but in kind of like a mid-weight fabric so it's a little bit warmer um but I had a lot of fun kind of pairing these two things together and like dreaming up what I would make for the tour and this was just kind of a vision that I had in my head and I think it came out almost exactly how I wanted. And that doesn't always happen, as we all know. Okay, and then I went on a bit of a fall dress kick. Uh, one weekend, I was just looking at my stash, and I was like, I have got to get rid of some of this stash. So I started with, oh gosh, um, McCall 7160, this version here. And I used a kind of like a lace bonded, a lace bonded ponte, I guess. It is my quintessential fit and flare style that I just love wearing. The skirt is like super flared because it is like a bonded ponte. So it just flares right out. And I just think it's so fun and flirty. I absolutely love this. And the color is fall-ish to me. I mean, it is on a white background, so that makes it a little bit more spring. I don't know. I kind of feel like this is just an all year round, maybe not in the dead of summer in the South, but um, most of the year, I think this is a seasonally appropriate. Um, it was super easy to make, um, just through everything through the serger. I did end up having to add a side zipper because it isn't as stretchy as you might think. Um, and the waistband, was not cut on the bias so there was just like no give there whatsoever I couldn't get it over my shoulders mostly so really love that one love how it came together I always feel like really sassy and dressed up whenever I wear this one okay and then I made I don't have the pattern with me but I will insert it here it is this really cute double brushed ponte sort of like unassuming at first and then you get to the bottom and you realize it has this like pattern mixing um which I am really excited about you guys freaked out over this one both on social media and here on the channel so it makes me feel super confident whenever I wear it because I know that so many of you liked it like I don't know this might be sort of vain but you know when you wear something 
most people like face to face aren't going to be like, oh my God, I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty on you. People don't really do that. I mean, you might get a couple throughout the day, but not like dozens and dozens. So whenever that happens on social media, it kind of is like that vindication and affirmation that, okay, yeah, this does look good. Like I'm not crazy for putting these two prints together. Like I think I needed that vindication for this one. Like the blue dress, I just feel confident in naturally because it's just kind of not that out there. It's kind of expected and just, you know, a pretty dress. But this one, I don't know, some people might not like. And I started to get nervous as I was sewing it. So I was really glad to get that that vindication. But it's double brush Ponte. It's super soft on both sides. It's very comfortable to wear. It's basically like pajamas. If it weren't a dress, I wouldn't have to think twice about it. I just, you know, can't flash anybody <laughs> but other than that is like really comfortable it packs really well it doesn't wrinkle like it's like dream fabric um so that one was really good then I made this one and this one has not appeared on the channel yet but I have it scheduled I think to go out in a couple of weeks so you'll get more information about it then but it's this pattern here with the short sleeves Butterick 6449 and here's how it came out super cute. I love the fabric so much. It did come out a little bit like Sunday brunch after church kind of vibe. A little bit matronly, if I'm being honest. Um, but that's okay. It is a different silhouette for me also, which I'm not super confident in. Um, it's got a higher, the waistband is more of an empire waistband. And then these panels I don't know, just aren't super flattering through the midsection. If you have any kind of belly at all, just stick with the flare skirt, circle skirt, um, pleated skirt, that kind of thing. If I would have thought about it, I would have just attached a circle skirt to this one and probably would give it a 10. But now it's like a seven probably just because I don't, I don't know. I don't feel super confident in the fit, but I am working on the midsection well i'm working on all the sections to be honest so maybe one day it'll get less inflamed and you know not be such a a downer for me but um i i did enjoy making the dress the pattern was super easy and the fabric is really cute and pretty so it'll stay around for a while we'll see how much i end up wearing it so butterick 6449 on that and then this is my second time making this pattern. You guys know I don't usually repeat, but this is 6388, this version here, but I made it with the, like, I guess I just omitted the sleeve. There's like a drop shoulder kind of thing where you can have a short sleeve. So that's basically what I did. So I have a short sleeve like jacquard double knit kind of thing going on here. I don't know. This one hasn't been reviewed on the channel yet either, um, but I will get it up this month probably. But it's just kind of really comfy and kind of feels like wearing a blanket and is kind of like sporty in a way. It's a little bit a nod to the athleisure because um when I wear it I wear it with like black sneakers um so yeah it's a different vibe for me I'm trying to find ways to be casual but still cute like not always jeans and a shirt you know um and so I thought that this would be a good way to do that and this collar is super comfortable I mean it comes all the way up on your neck so it's warm and cozy like I said it's like wearing blanket Okay, then I went off the rails a little bit and made something that isn't clothes. And that is my, they won't open now. There we go. My little toiletry kit. And what I didn't realize whenever I first made these is that this set is a lot like those little Japanese wooden dolls where they all fit into each other. So look, I have that big one and then I have the, the next biggest and then it keeps going. And you can just keep birthing toiletry bags one after the other. Isn't that fun? Um, so it's a super easy way to store them because they all 
live within one another. You're not storing, you know, five separate bags. You're really only storing one. Um, but I did this as a collaboration with byany.com and I just had a lot of fun doing it. And I think they turned out really cute. These were all done on my Cricut um, with the easy press to get them pressed on real nice. So yeah, that was really cute. I'll be using these on a trip I'm going on very soon. So you'll be seeing some more of these shortly. But as I said before, the Biani patterns are really, really great. You end up being able to accomplish something that surprises you. Like I'm surprised how professional these turn out every time I make one of her patterns. I'm just like, gosh, did I really do that? Like, it looks really good. Like, I'm impressed with myself, even though I've only ever made like three bags in my life. Um, so lots of practice though, since this was technically five of them. Um, but yeah, these are super fun and I'm really happy to have them just in my collection, in my life to be able to travel or whatever. It'll be something really fun to pull out every time I go somewhere. So that was those. And then also with my Cricut Maker, I made another quilt. This is a holiday quilt. You can see my Santas in the snow globes. And I just absolutely fell in love with this fabric collection. And then um, making the quilt was super simple with the maker. I'm going to um, end up doing a like five frequently asked questions about the Cricut Maker. So if you have questions about the Maker, something that has been keeping you from buying one or something that ha makes you nervous about using it or something like that, leave those questions in the comments and I will add a few of them to the frequently asked questions. But um, in that video, I will show you a lot more of this quilt. But um, yeah, it's really large, but obviously was easier to make on my maker because it did all the cutting for me. So you'll see more of this soon. And don't forget to leave your questions about the Cricut maker in the comments. And then finally, I made Simplicity 8741. I posted this last week. And then yesterday I posted some tips on working with fur. So you guys will have all of those, um, both of those videos available to you. The jacket turned out really cute, although it was funny because the day that I, so I wore it like during the day, day to night really. And my boyfriend was like, I was like, so what do you think of my new jacket? And he's like, you're going to wear that? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, during the day? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. And he's like, oh, okay. I'm like, what? You don't think you don't like it? And he's like, it's just a little much. So I think that the guys might be having a hard time coming around to fur as like an everyday type of, not everyday type of thing, but as a daytime type of thing. But I rocked it all day long. I never got too hot. Although I will say it was chillier. We were in Charlotte that day. So it was only in like the sixties and seventies. Um, so it was a little bit chillier for me, but I rocked it all day long and I don't feel like I got too many crazy looks for wearing fur during the day. Is that a thing? Oh, who cares? It's like white after Labor Day. It's like a rule, but rules were meant to be broken. Um, so anyways, lots of content regarding this little guy here. So go check out both of those videos if you want to learn more about making your own fur cropped jacket. Love this guy. And... That's it. That is all the things that I made in October. I've been very, very busy. Um, I will have my plans video up maybe tomorrow. And I have a lot of things planned because I'm taking a socation slash small like sewing retreat. There's only gonna be three of us <laughs> that are gonna be there. So it's not like the retreat that you that you've seen or that you you might know of it's just a very intimate sewing retreat we rented a little um airbnb nearby like driving distance but 
away from all of our homes. Um, so it'll be four whole, well, three and a half days of sewing. So I'll have big plans for November as well. It is a lot. I've been a busy girl, but it feels good to be this productive and this creative and all of that. So um, let me know what you made in October, something you're super proud of. Are you doing sew frosting? This was my sew frosting entry. We will see there's a lot of really good sew frosting entries so and also some other fur coats. So I have no idea how they are going to pick a winner. But um, if you're doing sew frosting, let me know what your Instagram handle is so I can go check out your entry and give you a double tap and all that fun stuff. But until next time, like tomorrow, I will see you all very soon. Bye!